In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate this practical NECO Physics Practical 2024 on MEPS. This basically is on a force board. Uh, you can do where to read through the questions and uh, see what they ask you to do. But in this, I'm just going to demonstrate this by manipulating this. Now, uh, what one thing that you need to understand is that since the force, since this mass M here is placed at the middle here, it means that the tension on this string AO would be equal to the tension on this other string OC. So the, the, uh, basically, the tension on this would be equal to the tension on this. So I'm just going to use a free, free body diagram to work out the tension on string AO and OC. So this is what I'm going to do. So here on this part here, I have a tension here, T, and the tension here will be equal. So on this, it therefore means that uh, this would be T and this would be T. So what I'm going to do is that the tension on this string here will also be the tension on this string since they are fused together we, on this uh, also this string here. So the tension on this string will also be T since they are fused together. So on drawing a free body diagram, I'm going to have this. So I'll first of all start with this here. So I'll draw a free body diagram for that. So the free body diagram for that would be the tension T acting upward and the weight, this is the, uh, the weight of the object adding downward. So the weight of this object will be W equals mg. So uh, the mass on this is equal to 30 grams. So I'm just going to divide this. So I'm going to convert this to weight, all the masses to weight. So this is going to be equal to, uh, the mass is in grams. So I'm going to have 30 divided by 1,000 times, as I said, due to grab, which is 10. And uh, the whole of this would just be 0 0.3 Newton. So it means that T, this tension here, T, is equal to 0 0.3 Newton. But you have to put into consideration here that there is an angle here. The angle that this uh, tension makes with the vertical here is angle theta, as can be seen here. Okay, so we have theta. Now, it should be, you should note that this angle here would always be equal to this. So, um, okay, I'll prefer to use theta for this and theta for this. The reason being that I have to resolve the tension T, this tension T to the vertical along this point here. So I'll draw another free body diagram across on, on this point here. So at, at that point, I'm going to have this. So my free body diagram at that point is going to look like this. So I'm going to have the tension T acting this way and the tension T acting this way. And this tension acting at the weight, rather, M on M acting down this way. Um, that's MG. So this time around again, we have to convert it to, so, uh, we have to convert the weight at the masses to kilogram because they are in grams. So I'm going to have M divided by 1000 times 10. Again, this will just give us 0 0.01 M. So that will be the value we are going to use for the weight of this object here. So that's my free body diagram. So what I have to do is this. Uh, if you come back to this point here, this point, this angle here would be equal to this angle here. So I'll just draw the horizontal this way. So this angle would be equal to this angle here, so theta. So this angle is theta, here is theta. Remember, I'm ignoring this angle that is here. So I'm using this angle here and this one here. So it therefore means that on this part, I'm going to draw this this way. And I'm going to make this theta. So if that is theta, then I'm going to resolve these two uh, forces vertically. So I'm going to resolve them vertically. If I resolve them vertically, they are equal. And the resolve uh, forces, so this will also be theta here. So the resolve forces, the tension on the string vertically would be 2t sine theta is equal to the weight mg. So that's a 0 0.01m. 
Now, remember that from our, our calculation here, we said that the tension T is equal to 0.3 Newton. So I'm going to substitute it into this. I'm going to have two times 0.3 sine theta is equal to 0.01 capital letter M, please. Because that's uh, the uh, masses. So from here, you can see that sine theta would be equal to 0.01 M divided by Zero, 2 times 0 0.3, that's 0 point, 0 0.6. So I'm just going to divide this out, and I'm going to arrive at, um, so that's going to give me 0 0.017 M approximately. So I'm just going to fit, the, fit in the values of M here now, and then use them to work my values out. So in this case, M, my M is 10 grams, 20 grams, 30 grams, 40 grams, 50 grams. So I'm going to fish all of this out and work out the value of M. Then I'm going to use those values of M uh, to find uh, the sine theta. So sine theta is equal to 0 0.017 M. So let me just work out the values of theta from here. So for me, you can see that uh, theta would be the sine inverse of 0 0.017 whatever m is. So I'm plug the values out now. I'll work them out. Then come back and I'll pause the video. Then I'll come back and show you my evaluated values. These are my recorded value for for theta. So I have 9.9 .9 degrees, 19.9 .9 degrees by using this one, 30.7 degrees and theta 4 is equal to 42.8 degrees. Then um, theta 5 is 58.2 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these uh, values of this angle to draw this triangle here. To draw uh, this shape that looks like this. So I'm going to draw this line here, line AC. You can draw that to any, line, any length. That doesn't matter. Just draw any length of the line AC. Find the midpoint and then we can then find this. So just follow me as I'm going to uh, draw the construction out now. Okay, so with my angles recorded, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw a straight line. Draw the straight line to any convenience. Just draw it to any uh, convenience. You can draw any straight line to your convenience. So I'm going to draw a line of, let's say, 17 cm. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line of 70 cm. Draw it to your convenience, 70 cm. Then the midpoint should be is 8.5. So I'll put a dot on 8.5. Then draw a straight line through. Just put this mark on top of this. Ensure that this line, this mark is on top of the straight line. So I'll draw a straight line this way to any length. So next, I'll take my protractor and from here. Remember, I said that these angles here are equal to this angle. So for me, I'm going to measure. Um, so I actually approximated the angles. So you can leave it at 9, 10. Any values in between this, you are not supposed to get exactly the same values as all of this. So any values in between this, so I'm going to put this here. Then I'm going to measure all the angles at once. So I'm going to measure 10. The next one is 20. The next one is 31. The next one is 43, 43, and the next one is 58. So this is 58. Then I'll just join all of these together. So I'll come to this place, put this one here. Okay, from here. So that means I have to join this, draw this down a little bit. So I'm going to have this. Okay. Then I'm going to join this. So the length of this your line will determine how long these ones will be. But the angles will always be the same. So the length of this line will determine how much these lines will be. So you can draw any convenient length for this. So I'm going to join this. Okay, I made a mistake, a little bit of mistake with that, but don't, not to worry. So I'm going to join these two points. 
this this and then this so let me join this draw this down a bit so from here so this is my resource so i have like i said the length of this line will determine how long these lines would be if the lines are short so that's why i said any convenient length so if the lines are short you're going to get a shorter line so let's see i'm going to measure um so this will be y so i'm just placing my uh, ruler on this i'm going to measure my y so this is going to be y in centimeter then i'll get my ao in centimeter also so we can just measure from here uh, let me get the values of y so this is uh one point one to one point five some record one point five zero then this is two point three point one point two three point two zero this is five point five six seven eight five point eight zero then i'll have in the next is eight point five six seven eight point seven zero then our, uh, the last one is 14.123, So, then we can then measure this from the zero mark. This is um, 8.5.6.7.8. So, 8.80. And I'll measure this uh nine point one two nine point two zero uh then we have an um, eight point seven eight point five zero then we have twelve point one two three four twelve point four zero then we'll have finally we have a sixteen sixteen point five six seven eight sixteen point eight zero so these are my readings so you know the masses are here so we're going to have m ten point zero zero twenty point zero zero 30.00, 40.00, 0, 0, 50.00. So these are my readings and this is my diagram. Like I said, I said the length of this line will determine how long all of this would be. If the line is a bit shorter, then these lines would be uh, shorter. So just uh, use your discretion, get the line, draw the line, use your discretion to draw the line, get the midpoint and get all this value okay so i am sure that this is going to be uh, very helpful and do not uh, forget to subscribe if you find this video very useful thank you see you and good luck to you